right, good morning everyone. Today is an auspicious day because um, the Miracle 8 are going to be getting a full carcass for the very first time. This is a massive milestone in their lives and I almost feel like a, a dad uh, attending his, his children's graduation. It's what they're meant to eat guys, I mean let's face it, uh, these cheetahs are not meant to be eating chopped up meat with uh, vitamin supplements out of a bowl. They're meant to be eating full carcasses. So um, we have organized with uh, Matt from Dana Kang a full carcass, uh, an impala carcass, it's fresh. What we're wanting these cheetahs to do is to open up the carcass and we want them to go for the, the, the nutritious um, bits of innards. So in other words, all the innards of the animal, the heart, the lung, the liver, especially the liver, the kidneys etc the intestines we want them to eat that because that's where all the the vitamins and minerals um are that's where the, the the majority of them are all right so the carcass has been put down in the enclosure what we've decided to do is because we want to give it to them as fresh as can be we've decided not to let them go for a walk today which is typically what we would do we'd let them go out into the 120 hectare area run 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 exhaust themselves and then they would come back to uh, the carcass just so they um they know that when when they when they um get a carcass they've had to run and work for it they hot um they they tired and then they need to eat so you need to kind of get them into that uh, routine uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take my leatherman and we're going to cut um into the belly cavity just a little bit just so the innards stick out just a touch and then we're going to cut by the the anus as well just to give them a a bit of a heads up as to where they they need to uh actually start should we get the show on the road milestone Sure, got some serious power there. Yeah, so the one's got the hint, he's eating from behind. Um, and the other one has sort of figured out the belly there. This one doesn't know what the hell's going on. He's like, okay, I'll, I'll wait for them to open it up. Once they open it up, then I'll have a, have a go. The other one's eating the ear. <laughs> Good nutrition there, buddy. Interesting. Sit back, relax, let the others do the work. Yeah, that one's there. There we go. Smarty pants. Who's this? Which cheetah is this? Very smart animal. Oh, that's bitchy. They're all gone for the legs because that's where they, that's what they used to. Anyway, it's not a, oh, you finally woken up. Hello. Welcome to the program oh, there's another one just uh, dreaming of a, a bowl of food okay smarty pants over there That's it. Yeah, buddy. Chuck in there. That's it. Kill that dead impala. Kill him dead. Yeah. That's how you kill him. Tear his legs off. 
That's how you kill him, you eat his ear off. That's how you kill him, you just lie there and wait for him to die of old age. Eh? Is that your strategy? Are you waiting for your bowl of food? Yeah. Is this princess? I think it's a female, yeah. This is Princess Poo Face. We got the one that's an ear eater. One's an ear eater, the other's a leg eater. <laughs> the one, the one, this one's eaten good, properly, from the anus eating the intestine, starting to work its way up. The other one, now it's eating the horn, not clever. But the other one chowed the um, intestines, this one now, it's going back to it. It's an acquired taste as well, eh? It's not like something you just love immediately. Okay, so I think that went as well as can be expected. Um, excepting for they didn't quite get the intestine, but um, they did start eating from the rectum in, but then stopped and started eating more of the muscle meat. And um, yeah, they have been getting legs lately. So they've acquired a taste for that. And the other thing about the innards is it is an acquired taste. Um, one of them started nibbling at it and was, was interested. Um, but yeah, I think uh, as they get more and more used to full carcasses, I think they're gonna forget about eating the face and they're gonna realize that eating the innards, uh, the liver, the heart, the lungs, etc the intestines these are the bits that are going to give them the most energy and nutrition and vitamins and minerals for the least amount of effort and certainly when you're a wild cheetah that's what you got to do because you don't have the luxury of um <laughs> you don't have the luxury of just sitting around like this lackadaisily just uh, saying hey i'll go and rest in the shade and come back for a little bit more then go and rest in the shade yeah, by now hyenas would have found this, uh, potentially even lions, and you would have been chased away. So, yeah, uh, some of these guys would have gone hungry um, for all the effort of making a kill. They would have gone hungry. So they really do have to learn that, that, that skill. Stay tuned to the channel, guys. More great things to come, and we'll leave it there. Until next time, from me, Kevin. Bye.